Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video and today I am Derry Jenner from Jeepers Creepers and uh, as you can tell by the Bannon shirt and today I've been really busy so I didn't really have a video planned but thankfully Tina saved my life here. Well, not saved my life but saved this video. She she actually was talking to me about something last night which as you guys know she or maybe you don't know but she lives in Spain. She's not Spanish, she's Norwegian but she lives in Spain. There's this building right by where she lives which she's told me about a few times and um, she actually showed it to me yesterday for the first time like on snapchat She was like showing me and videoing this building and it was a huge building It kind of looked like just like a huge not tall. It's like a few stories high, but it's kind of long like it's very wide It looks like it could be some kind of factory or like a warehouse and it actually and excuse my voice by the way I, have to, I don't know what's going on with me today I've been sneezing a lot. So now my voice is like a little hoarse So Tina told me about this building She was showing it to me and it does look pretty creepy the way she described it to me sounded creepy too She was telling me it's like this old derelict building which is kind of like kind of looks abandoned and run down and uh she thinks that like she's never seen anybody going in or out of there it just it looks abandoned um the windows are like boarded up the, the the walls are like falling apart and stuff like that so it does look pretty creepy um and when she showed me in the video she was like walking past that building and she's like filming it and she's like this is the building and she told me she gets like a really weird feeling about this Ooh, she just speaking of the devil she just texted me <gasps> But she told me she gets like a really weird feeling going around this building like she says there's like odd things go on like the windows like there's these um like spanish style like shutters on the windows and sometimes they're open sometimes they're closed like vented like shutters on the thing like sometimes they're open sometimes they're closed but she never sees anybody going in or out of there you can tell it's like an abandoned building just from looking at it but apparently she said it might have something to do with like Ugh. and i got so freaked out when she told me this she said the word nuns <laughs> and i know nuns are supposed to be like nuns are very like there's such pure people like they're, they're they're that's the whole point of being a nun is purity um but I, I don't know man after watching the conjuring nun it's like it's fucked it up for me forever like i can't think of nuns in any other way like i literally think of little miss troublemaker over here so tina thinks that it was like some kind of nunnery or whatever you call it like a place where nuns go to live and like work and worship and you know do what they do and uh she doesn't know if it's actually abandoned but it sure as hell looks abandoned i've seen the videos and i actually i should have got her to like send ah, damn it i didn't think of that <laughs> well i wasn't planning on making this video but i guess i could show you guys in another video if i get her to like send me a video of the building and i could show you guys and she could do like maybe if i could get her to do like a before and after um maybe like her filming the windows one day and then show the next day if they've changed or not but like she said the windows open and close there's like weird things going on there and it's just a really weird building you definitely get like a weird vibe even i got a weird vibe and i'm all the way across the freaking ocean and she's sending me snaps of it but even i just looking at it i was like yeah that that place is that's haunted it's haunted so i said to tina maybe if it genuinely is like abandoned maybe next time i come to spain um we could like investigate it together and we could like go there maybe we we might be able to sneak in but if not we could probably try and get permission to go in there if it is like abandoned um and like go and explore that would be spooky and then we got into the conversation of what if what if um valak over here is residing in there like what if we encounter her what if i'm walking around with tina and my ghost vision camera my not my night vision camera like in the total darkness and then suddenly you hear the voice you know that sound like i can't even do it. it's like oh and it's like that choir -y, like like a male choir deep siren singing voice that the, the soundtrack in the nun and whenever she's around, that booming voice choir thing starts. It's a little bit like like the Halo theme song, but like more of a male voice, like it's deeper. And it's literally the most terrifying thing ever. And it's the way she doesn't run or do anything scary. Like Jeepers Creepers is like fast. He can run, he can fly, he can do it all, man. But the nun, she's just like hovers. She like floats. And I, I, there's a story I, I t didn't tell you guys about my grandma. She actually used to work in like a resident, residential care home. 
and there was nuns there. It was like a Catholic place, and they used to like take care of the elderly, but also the, the nuns used to worship there. And my grandma worked there years ago, and like when she started, they apparently there was like the fourth floor of this building that she worked at. Um, she was like a, a carer, like took care of the elderly. And um, apparently there was like um, a nun who had died and her spirit haunts the fourth floor. And my grandma said there that she used to work night shifts there and she would do like the, take the towels to the, to the, the old people that were living there or she would attend to their needs throughout the night and stuff like that. And she said that one time she saw a nun um, like at the end of the hallway and she said she literally saw her float past. This was years ago, long before this movie came out. Um, my grandma told me this story and I asked her about it again multiple times because of this movie and she was like, yeah, she said, I don't know if I believe it was a ghost or not. I just heard that like, you know, there was a, a nun, uh, the ghost of a nun um, who haunts the fourth floor because that was like the nun's quarters of the building. And yeah, apparently my grandma used to take towels up there, stuff like that. Um, and she saw at the other end of the hallway, a nun just like kind of floating past. It didn't look like she was walking. Like the way you have that oomph in your step, like when you walk, you kind of bounce. It was like, she said it was like you, she was just hovering like this. And she just went from one end of the hall into the other end, like across the hall into another room. And my grandma said she didn't go down there and check it out or anything like that. She was like, I don't know. It could have just been a nun, but it was the middle of the night. Usually the nuns are like sleeping. They have like strict bedtimes and stuff like that. So either it was a nun who was up and about like sneaking around during the night or it was the ghost of a nun. But like I was saying, if me and Tina do decide to investigate this place, it would be very scary. I would definitely take my night camera, my night vision camera. That would be fucking scary as hell. Like it would literally be like a game of Outlast. And I don't know if I'm the most reliable person to protect Tina from <laughs> something bad happening. Like I know I'm the guy, I should be the one taking care of her. I'm the one who should be taking care of the girl. But, you know, if I see Valak walking to me on a night vision camera in the total darkness, I'm sorry, Tina. It's every man for himself. I, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't know. I will try my best to protect her. But I can't make any promises. I'm too scared. <laughs> I might even die. Like, I might actually die or have a heart attack or something. Tina, you might be the one having to drag out my body. And that's not going to be fun for you. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section. Do, do you believe in ghosts? Ah! Oh my god, I thought there was a ghost behind me. What the heck? Okay, that, why did I have an orgasm just then? I literally felt like something, it was probably just my shirt, but something like twitched a little bit. <laughs> Woo, weird, spooky. Yeah, I'm getting out of here now. I feel like something bad's about to happen. But anyway, guys, see you tomorrow. What, what am I doing? See you later, guys. Peace out and chase your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.